Traffic flow theory has been the interest of researchers, designers and planners for decades. And one objective of traffic flow theory is to derive the relationship between the various traffic variables so that the engineer can determine the characteristics of traffic stream and hence predict the consequences of any changes made in the design. Initial work has focused on three variables flow, density and space mean speed and these are also called the fundamental flow variables because the flow describes how many vehicles are moving and speed and density they describe the quality of service experienced by the drivers. These three parameters are correlated with each other by this relation q is equal to k into v and this equation is called fundamental equation of traffic flow. Now this is the fundamental diagram of road traffic between the flow and the density. This is parabolic in nature and if you draw a tangent at origin now the slope of this line OA will give you the speed at zero flow or zero density. That means it is the free flow speed. Now at B you get the highest flow that we call the capacity of the highway and the corresponding density, corresponding density here you get the optimum density. K max. K max. If you draw a line from origin to this point B, the slope of this line will give you the speed at maximum flow. This is the jam density. The portion on the left side of this line, vertical line here, that is called the stable flow and the portion which is on the right side that is called the unstable flow. So general relationship between these three parameters that is volume, speed and density are that at low volume speeds are very high and at high volume speeds are low and highest volume occurs at medium density which we call the optimum density and at maximum density there will be no speed or no flow. Now these are four boundary conditions that must be satisfied by any relationship between speed, density and flow. Now the earliest work to correlate these parameters was done by Green Shields in 1934. And he assumed a linear relationship between average density and average space mean speed. And the relation was as V is equal to A minus B into K. Now here V is speed at any density K. And if K is 0, naturally this speed will be the free flow speed and this constant here A will be the free flow speed and B will be A upon Kj where Kj is the jam density. Now this relationship can be understood like this. So if you take density on x axis and speed on y axis then at zero density when there is no vehicle on the road or you can say a single vehicle on the road the speed will be free flow speed and the density will be zero this is the maximum speed a vehicle can attain similarly at highest density at maximum density where vehicles are queued vehicles are queuing bumper to bumper jam density which we call the jam density at kj speed will be zero but between these two points free flow speed and 
gem density the speed varies linearly with density and that was the assumption made by green shields and therefore equation for this line will be that speed at any density k will be v is equal to vf into 1 minus k upon kj this equation satisfies all the four boundary conditions which i mentioned earlier that you can find out the gem density you can find out the free flow speed you can find the maximum flow that will occur at optimum density and you can also find out density or speed at maximum flow see how it can be done we know q is equal to k into v and therefore if we substitute here v is equal to vf into 1 minus k upon kj this equation becomes like this and for maximum flow if you differentiate this equation with respect to k and put it equal to 0 then k will be kj upon 2 that means the flow will be maximum at density equal to the gem density similarly when you substitute this k is equal to kj upon 2 that is half of the gem density in this equation you get a speed which is equal to half of the free flow speed it means a speed at optimum flow or a speed at maximum flow will be half of the free flow speed and flow at that point will be k into v so if you take k as half of gem density and v as half of free flow speed it will be vf into kj upon 4 that is the capacity of the road now this shows three relationship between three parameter speed density and flow on the same scale now flow density is parabolic speed density is a linear correlation and speed flow is again a parabolic so if you want to find out at any density what is the flow you can find out from this or you can find out speed on this scale or at this speed you can find out what is the flow. Green shield equation was used by researchers for almost three decades. It was in 1959 that Greenberg carried out experiment and collected data on volume, speed and density in the north tube of the Lincoln Tunnel and he fitted a logarithmic function to speed and density data as shown here. He assumed that but rather he found that speed density is not a linear correlation but it is a logarithmic relation where c is a constant. Now again if you go by this q is equal to k into v you get this equation and you differentiate this q with respect to k to optimize the flow then maximum speed which you will find will be this coefficient c so at maximum flow means at capacity the speed will be equal to this constant c and if you further analyze this equation the density at maximum flow will be gem density upon E. E is 2.718 that you know. But only problem with this model is that it violates the boundary condition that at free flow speed the density should be 0. Now in this equation although this model shows better goodness of fit as compared to green shield model but it violates the boundary condition that at zero density speed should be equal to free flow speed. Here k is equal to zero can be attained only when v is infinite. k is equal to zero if you put k is equal to zero in this equation v becomes infinite. So zero density can be attained only if speed is extremely large and therefore to overcome this limitation of Greenberg's model 
Underwood assumed exponential correlation between speed and the density. That is given in this equation here. Now, this speed requires data on free flow speed which is easy to measure in the field. Now, here he does not use the Kj, gem density, but it uses optimum density. That is the density at maximum flow, at capacity. And if you carry out the same kind of analysis for this equation also, you will find that for maximum flow, the speed should be free flow speed divided by E. So the model has the limitation that speed reaches 0 when k is infinite. So this model cannot be used to predict speed at high density. Now here we compare three models with the same data. Now this green line here, green data point is a green shield equation which is 60 minus 0.39 into density. So a straight line is striking at y axis as well as if you extend it, it will strike at the x axis also. The blue points here, they are Greenberg model and you can see here that these are going asymptotic on y axis and therefore the speed is infinite when density is zero. So this does not give you the free flow speed, but it will certainly give you the gem density when you extend this curve to meet the horizontal axis. Similarly, this underwood model which is red points here, it gives the free flow speed which is around 86 km per hour, but it will be asymptotic at x axis and therefore it will not give the gem density. So these are the limitations of three models. Now let us understand these three models using one or two examples. The urban road has the following flow characteristics. Q is equal to 263V minus 65V ln V. So what is the maximum flow and what is the speed and density at maximum flow? To solve this problem, you can differentiate this equation with respect to V to get the maximum flow. And if you do that, you will find that speed, the value of V is 21 km per hour. So the flow is maximum when average stream speed is 21 km per hour. And if you substitute this value of 21 km per hour in the first equation, you get Q max is equal to 1367 vehicles per hour. And that is the capacity of the highway, capacity of the road. And if you want to find out the density, that is the last part of the question. Density at this maximum flow would be Q upon V. So it will be 65 vehicles per kilometer. We can take one more example where a field engineer collected data on a highway segment on speed and density. Now these are the speed and density data as obtained on a section of the highway. Assuming a linear relation between speed and density, find free flow speed, jam density and capacity of the segment. When we say linear, it means it is green shield model. So this can be done by two methods. You can fit a line V is equal to A plus BK either using Excel sheet, Microsoft Excel sheet or through regression analysis. To use Microsoft Excel sheet, so open a Microsoft Excel sheet and here you type the values of density in one column and speed on the second column. You enter all these values here and then to fit a line between these two parameters. Now k is taken on x axis. So these are the value in the first column and v is taken on the y axis. So these are the values 
in the second column you select these values and then here you insert a scattered plot a scattered plot here so this is the kind of graph or you can say the relationship between the x parameter and y parameter you will get now select these points and right click your mouse and here you will see add trend line so just choose the type of trend line that is linear and if you want to see the equation see below here display equation on chart just click it so it will give you the equation also and equation is y is equal to y here is speed minus 0.963 plus 100.8 So this is the correlation we got through Excel sheet. V is equal to 100.8 minus 0.963 into K. If you want to fit this line, straight line using rational analysis, then Y, if you take, let us say Y is the speed data and X is the density data, then this is a coefficient A. Coefficient A is obtained by this equation average of Y plus B into average of X where b is summation of xi into yi minus n times x bar y bar upon summation of xi square minus n x square. So we make a table here. This is the xi, yi, xi into yi. This is xi square. And this is the summation of each column summation of values in each column and you can see here that x bar that is the average of x values 187 divided by 5 data points 37.4 and y bar is 324 divided by 5 64.8 so b is equal to summation of x i y i minus n into x bar y bar divided by summation of x i square minus n into x bar square put these values here and you get minus 0.963 if you put this value of b in this equation you get a y bar plus b into x bar 64.8 minus 0 0.963 into 37.4 100.8 so you get the same equation you get the same equation as you got from excel sheet v is equal to 100.8 minus 0.963 into k now free flow speed if you put k is equal to 0 free flow speed is 100.8 km per hour and gem density will be 100.8 upon 0.963 a upon b 0.963 that is 105 vehicles per kilometer and if you know the free flow speed if you know the gem density then maximum flow which we call the capacity will be half of free flow speed multiplied by half of gem density and that is 2646 vehicles per hour that is the capacity so you may write your observations and questions in the comment box thank you very much